Hey everybody. Hola y buenas tardes. It is um, Saturday and actually a nice and beautiful day out here in Lake Arrowhead. And I guess Sunny wants to say hello too. <laughs> um, first of all, um, I guess David wanted to talk to all of you for a second. Sunny. Well, I just wanted to thank everybody for all the condolences and well wishes and pictures that you sent and the you know, on my dad's passing uh, means a lot to me and a, a lot of beautiful pictures I've never seen <clears throat> before. And um, um, it's been, you know, hard, but we uh, do have a little bit of closure because we, we found out uh, exactly uh, what my father passed away from and it was COVID related. <clears throat> and uh, so just want to tell you to be careful out there because it is real. In fact, you want to say something? Yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> the reason we came on is because we want to share something with you all. Not only that, like David said, he just found out a few days ago that his father passed away from COVID. Um, but um, also that David and I have COVID right now. <clears throat> um, the thing is... Um, you know, uh, a lot of you have been following me this past year, and um, you all know that I actually got COVID in the beginning of, of uh, 2020 when all this started. And um, I had a real rough patch. Um, uh, I was hoping I wouldn't get it again, but um, I just tested myself uh, this past Sunday, and yes, I tested positive. And David tested himself on the 29th, and he tested positive. Um, as a matter of fact, he actually, um, the day that he tested positive, he reached out to his father to let him know that he was COVID positive. And Rudy was very, very um, concerned about him, but told him, you know what, David, you're a young guy, <laughs> and you will pull through and you'll be all right, you know. And they were both actually talking for a little bit and talking about how to, to be careful and, and to take care and, and stuff. But um, at this point, we, Rudy didn't know that he had been COVID um, positive because he had just taken the test on Saturday. Yeah. Right, Daddy? <clears throat> yeah, he hadn't gotten his results yet. Uh, but it, you know, it progressed very rapidly from what I understand, so. Now, um, as you guys could see, and obviously hear that there's some people that get COVID and it affects them in the most um, terrible way like it did Rudy. Rudy did have an underlying condition. He had diabetes. So that obviously didn't help his cause to get stronger and be able to fight off um, the virus. Um, David and I, um, we are blessed that we have been able to fight it. Although when David found out that his father passed away, he had only known he was COVID positive a couple days. So it made it really, really hard. One day. Yeah, actually, yeah, one day. <laughs> one day. One day, yeah. yeah, he knew one day. And, um, and it was super scary because he was going through his father's death and then um, dealing with him being COVID positive was super tough. And I didn't think I had it for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, maybe because I had it last year, I didn't think I would be um, exposed again or, you know, get the virus. Um, the way we got it, I'm sure some of you guys want to know. <coughs> David still has, as you could tell, a lingering cough. The way we got it was um, my son came over for Christmas Eve. It was just David, um, my son, and I. And... Um, um, Unfortunately, my son actually brought it from his home. Um, we actually, after David tested positive, we called his, my, my, my son's Nana's house and let them know, to let them know what happened because we, you know, we've been so safe and careful out here and not going anywhere and doing things. So we didn't know how we got in contact with it. Um, they tested and both his Nana and his father were COVID positive as well. And they also have underlying conditions. Um, Nana has diabetes and um, my, my son's father um, just had a kidney replaced due to diabetes. 
and um, but thank God they're okay. They're okay. So my son came over for Christmas Eve, and that's how fast it happens, guys. Mm -hmm. That's how fast it happens. Um, I mean, I, I felt like there was nothing not to trust my son. I mean, of course, he, he, he said and, and swore they've been safe, and, you know, Nana has underlying conditions. They don't have visitors at home, but somehow it was brought to their place. And my son came over here and brought it to us. And um, it happened that quick. David got really sick on that Sunday. Um, he had a high fever. That's how he first got uh, the symptoms and he found out. So mm. just to let you guys know a little information for all of you that are concerned and are like, well, how do I know that I have COVID? Well, David actually um, had a fever, fever, coughing. It's just like a bad flu, exactly like a really bad flu. And, and um, I guess, and then some people also get a, a rash, which I got all over my body. It's called the COVID <laughs> rash. And, but those um, were his first symptoms. He got the fever and right away he knew there was something wrong because even I gave him um, some medicine the night before and the next day, he, he still <laughs> developed uh, the fever went higher. And I said, babe, you need to go test. So he went and got a, like a quick test, which they uh, let us know within the couple of hours, right? An hour. Like an hour. Um, yeah, it's a <laughs> couple hundred dollars. It's a couple hundred dollars, but they give you um, the results right away. So we went and uh, he went and did that, and literally in half hour he calls me and tells me, "Honey, I'm I'm COVID positive. I'm coming home, and I think Robert is COVID positive too, which is my son." He then called his mom and family and his dad, and um, we were very scared as we all get just to know that we have been in contact with the mm -hmm. virus and just thinking, how is it gonna affect us? Are we going to be one of those ending up at a hospital? Thank God, <coughs> although David, as you guys could hear, he still has the cough. He's had this cough now for about <clears throat> two and a half weeks, right, honey? Yeah. Two and a half weeks. And, um, and uh, you know, I started getting sick. Um, I started showing symptoms by, you know, the very first symptom I got was actually diarrhea. So I know that sounds a little sick, but I just want to make sure that you guys are informed so you know these are things that pop out. is fever, cough, diarrhea. Taste and smell. <coughs> <coughs> That's it. Within a, the next few days, we actually um, started losing our smell and the taste. Um, we couldn't taste or, or smell anything. And actually, to this date, I can't smell or taste anything. So I feel like the virus still is lingering inside my body. And they, I'm fine. David just has his cough, but um, we're, we're supposed to retest next week on Wednesday. And we're hoping that we will we'll test negative. Now, for all of you guys that feel like, well, I don't have too many people coming over my house or anything. Well, we thought the same thing. It just took one person, it was my son. It wasn't his fault, it wasn't Nana's fault. We don't, they don't even know how they got in contact with it, but they did. And right now, um, COVID is spreading like wildfire, guys, and people are dying every mm -hmm. six minutes from it. We've lost already four family members to COVID <coughs> last year. Three of my aunts that lived in the same house, they all lost their lives in the battle with COVID. His father just lost his life in the battle with COVID. And it was so scary to think that we might go through the same thing, but God has given us this bubble or maybe even those that have already left us actually have protected us and made us stronger so we could continue being here with all of you. Just be careful, guys. It's not safe out there. It's very dangerous. And if you guys, like I said, think if I just bring just one person over, it's not going to be a big deal. It just takes one person, guys. That's what happened here. Mm -hmm. Just takes one person. And they could be, uh, they could be exposed through with somebody else that they had no idea that they were in contact with that had COVID. And, um, and that's how quick it happened. My son actually 
recovered. We just took him <clears throat> yesterday to get retested. Um, and um, he's, uh, he should be getting his test results within a day, but it seems like he's <clears throat> all through it okay. But then again, he's a young guy, you know, he's in his 20s. So, you know, he's, they're, they're able to, to push through a little better than, than older people, you know. Um, David and I are fairly young and we're pushing through it pretty good. And um, although it was scary in the beginning, you know, we're, we're just doing um, all the right things by um, eating right. That's very important. And supplements, guys. We've been taking supplements um, every day, which is what the doctors told us to take. And even, guys, if you're not... If you don't have COVID, just start taking these supplements. I urge you to do it in order to help your immune system in case you do catch the virus. Because remember, guys, there's a strain out there that's a lot more contagious than the one that was out there before. Okay? Now, what we're taking is B12, zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, super duper important, important guys, a thousand milligrams. Okay? Or more if you can, you know. Um, and um, the way we're treating the COVID is by taking... Um, Actually, Dayquil and Aminiquil. And, and Metamucil for the cough, me. for cough. And um, my symptoms, by the way, guys, this second time around were um, a lot of headaches, especially a lot of pressure right here. That's where I was feeling it the most and the body aches were no joke I had the worst backache and there was just one day that I actually laid up in bed the entire day I couldn't even get out of bed um, because it was so strong the the headaches and the body aches they just take a toll in your body and the best thing to do is just rest it out and take some medicine um, Advil is very important at least to take once every day it's good for inflammation so your your lungs won't get bad <clears throat> right honey yeah. and these were actually things that were reported to us also through family members that that happened to have caught the virus as well and took these items in order to be able to fight off the virus now um we're close to the end so i just want to let you guys know that that david and i are doing okay and we're pulling through familia we're all good um and my son thank god is fine and his grandmother and his father are fine as well now um just everybody just be careful take care and if you guys have any questions about hey daphne or david what else did you guys feel what when do you when should i go to the hospital guys do not go to the hospital right now if you guys did test positive for COVID, don't run to the hospital unless it is an extreme emergency because they are turning people away from the hospital ambulances are being told that not to let anybody in if they don't think they're going to make it, which is a horrible, horrible <laughs> thing. And that's because the surge is so high, there's no room in the hospitals right now to help everybody. So unless you guys really feel like you need oxygen or to uh, need of a ventilator, which you will know if you can't breathe, then I say, yes, go to the hospital. But don't do it just because you have COVID. Don't do it. Try to get yourself better at home. You can do it. You can do it. Is there something else you have to say, babe? That's it. Okay. It's, once again, just stay safe and, uh, you know, this could happen to everybody, you know. Just be careful out there. Okay, guys. And um, again, may God, you know, rest in peace to, to Rudy and to all those who have lost their battle <laughs> with COVID, including my tres tias that are in heaven as well. And, you know, and let's just keep praying for everybody to, to stay well and stay safe from this horrible, terrible virus that's attacking all of us, okay? And, um, and let's also make sure to pray for all those that are helping, helping all those patients in the hospitals to get better, you know, or whatever they're doing, all of these people that everything that they're doing to to make sure that they that they're they continue staying strong for all of us and that they don't catch this horrible virus Absolutely. due to all the help they're giving 
all of us. So guys, please be careful out there, okay? Um, thank you again, and we just thought we should share our story. And, um, and again, you know, just be careful out there, mask up, uh, and wash definitely. your hands all the time <clears throat> after you come back from um, being out and about, all right? All right, then everybody, que Diosito me los bendiga toditos, okay? Adiosito. Uh, 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 uh.